<laughs> Good evening. My name is Bella Boris. Welcome to my house of horrors. So first you want to start by moisturizing that skin, moisturizing those lips, and priming your face. Here I'm just using Pore Professional by Benefit. I've already covered my eyebrows, if you guys want a tutorial on that just let me know. And right now I'm just priming my eyes with um, Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Eden, I believe. So we're just going to blend that all out. And then you're just going to want to lay some powder over the primer and blend everything out. Then you can blend out the primer with the eyebrow concealer just to make it all look put together and blend it out together. And then you're just going to want to apply some tape to the end of your eye just to create that nice crisp line for the eyeshadow. Here I'm just going in with a black matte powder and we're just going to kind of put that in a wing shape uh, at the end of our eye and then also bring that into the inner corner and then connect the two together. You're just going to want to keep applying the black powder just to kind of create an opaque color. And once you're happy with it, you can just go ahead and take the tape off. On the inside, we're just going to put some dark purple and then just blend that all together. Now we're going in with some foundation. I actually put a foundation that was about two or three shades lighter than my actual skin tone just because I want that porcelain doll look. And it's okay if you want to be heavy with the foundation. It is Halloween. And then I just took some uh, thick concealer just to cover up the areas that I felt needed a little bit more coverage. And then just blend that all together. Going into the brows, I actually just took a brow. Uh, I actually just took a black eyeliner. This is Max Black Track, and um, I'm basically just kind of going with my regular brow, but then also pointing it out uh, towards the inner corner of my eye. And then for the end of the brow, we're going for more of a straight, uh, curved out uh, line. And then I just took some white cream makeup and kind of put it around the outline of the brow to kind of define it and to uh, perfect it a little bit more. And then you're just going to want to blend that out as much as you possibly can into the skin. Going in with some contour, um, I'm just doing my regular contour, but just a little bit stronger. Um, I'm just doing my cheeks to kind of hollow them out, and then also around my forehead, and any other spots that I felt needed darkening, and then I just blended it all out. And now we're just going to curl our lashes, apply some glue to our lashes, let them dry a little bit till they're tacky, and then stick them on. Then I went in with some uh, black eyeshadow and just kind of uh, smoked out the waterline and blended that out. And then with the eyeliner, I just wung out my eyeliner. I didn't do anything too dramatic since the eyes are already pretty dramatic. And then just apply some generous coats of mascara. For the lips, I just took a little cloth to kind of get all the foundation off. And we're just applying some very, very dark purple uh, into the middle of our lips. Because we're going for more of an ombre look. Then I took my black and just applied it to the ends of my lips and just kind of used my lips to kind of work the color in to create more of a gradient effect.
Now for the lines that uh, the Bride of Frankenstein has, they're mostly just on her neck. So we're just starting from the front of the ear, working our way down, and then starting from the back of the ear, going all the way around our neck to the back of our hairline. And then you can just start creating the stitches. They don't have to be perfect. She is kind of a monster, so nothing is perfect. For the hair, you're just going to want to start taking the front pieces of your hair and pulling them to the front of your head. And then taking a little section and kind of uh, putting a little ponytail into the middle of your hair. This is because I'm going to be using big buns to kind of stack on top of my head. So I needed something to hold, something for them to hold on to. I got this really, really big bun at Aldo. And the other ones are actually my just regular day buns. Um, one of them is called Hot Buns, that's the one I'm putting in my hair right now, and the other one, I forgot the name, I think it's actually from Con Air. So I just stacked those on top of my head, and now we're just gonna start curling our hair, just to create some texture. And we're gonna hairspray that and start teasing. Then you're going to want to start taking your hair and kind of molding it into where you think that you want to start pinning it. It might separate, but just try your hardest to kind of comb it together and just work your fingers through it to kind of make it stay. And then you're just going to pin it in place. I tried to pin it inside at the top, the, at the top bun, I tried to pin it inside of the bun just to make sure that you couldn't really see the bobby pins, even though I don't really know if anybody can see your hair all the way up there. <laughs> And then I just took my bangs and pinned those up too. And you're just going to do the same with the rest of your hair. And also don't forget to leave the side pieces out, just two little pieces on the side, just so that we can spray those pieces white. So you can just section those off and proceed with the rest of your hair. And hairspray that baby in. Then I'm just gonna apply the spray paint. I'm just painting all of my hair black and then just throwing the white strips in. And your look is complete, guys. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.